Level 1. Hey. Back to some Tukin as we head into the reactor hall. Some cool music. You can probably hear it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Hmm? Oh, the music. I was... <laughs> I forgot it's not meant to be there. Yeah, it's Again. it's definitely a nice change of pace after <laughs> the lovely silence of the... After three videos of, complete, of near complete silence. Well, for me, it's been pretty much the entire time, because I haven't actually had the <laughs> yeah, option actually for... Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, it's actually not that bad once you get used to it, really. Mm. And you could actually just... I probably would just put a podcast on or something. Mm. But then the recording will pick it up. So. You can probably mess with the mixer, too. But so... Anyway, let's climb up some stuff and get some teddy bears, because that's cool. Yeah, that's always... It's cool. It's nice. I mean... There's nothing else to do to get points in this game, so... Yep, and also a good thing also to activate all these scrubs so that they can just go right past you and have to get pushed around by them. He, said, he says getting pushed around by them. Yeah. I, I did actually vaguely check up on their names. Um, every, everything else was water gone, so we've just got those robotic guys to just push things around, I guess. Scrubs. <laughs> They're really called Scrubs. Yep, that is their name. <laughs> Great. Oh, we've got a Vorticon guarding the uh, ship peak. What? Oh, what? Hold on. I'm getting my, I'm wrong getting game, my very, game. very dissimilar King games mixed up. Fail on the video. Wrong game. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why is everything pink? <laughs> okay, so. Let's save That's, New York. Man, this whole, is this whole room on fire? Um, Not all of it, I don't think. Got a lot of it. But uh, it's a very, it's a very vertical. Um, wait, hold on. No, horizontal. There we go. Uh, <laughs> did you, did you like have the hands out, like trying to do owl shapes with it? No. Somehow for vertical and horizontal. Maybe. But there's uh, this basin top bit, which I didn't actually expect. I was able to actually get up until I basically just did it. And there's a lot of ribbons everywhere, and a lot of vorticons, and it's generally not worth coming up here because there's just nothing really here. <laughs> it's not worth coming up here, so here we go. Yeah, I'm just showing it off just to say, oh right, there's a robot. Which, if I touch, it kills me. If I get shot by it, it kills me. And there's barely any room to. And there's scrubs. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, down, that's just down, not happening. Down we go. Let's uh, let's just collect some choppy bars and stuff. Oh, oh, oh! We've done that. Need some of that. And this is really quite a simple level. I mean, the Tantalus uh, levels don't really get mm, too complex because, you know, they are ones you have to go through. Yeah, I suppose they keep the curve a little bit. A little. That's because of this motherfucker. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it would be all too bad, because just for one of them... I mean, he seems to mostly just be going on his own way. However, oh, you know... Wow, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That got considerably more intense. Yeah, activate them and then run the hell away, and hopefully the camera stays in a position where you activate the rest of them, and then hopefully dodge them. Oh, now I can't see some of them. And they may have also despawned, or maybe that's just the same few jumping over, I just don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is where you don't, you don't mess with these guys. They will ruin your day. <laughs> uh, I miss the days of having to manage enemy spawns a lot. Mm. Just like Dark Souls. Yep. And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I could go up here and also show what's up there, but there's nothing up there and it really is. It's just it's it's a way to get around those guys, but you have to like contend with killer robots, which is it's probably just as much trouble to go that way as yeah. the other. So it's it's not really all too fun, but I scrape through eventually. Say ho it says home A, this place. Yep. Are we just going just... into people's houses now? And I have no idea. Place? It's just the name the Keen Wiki gave it. But it is also, you know, what the lettering said outside. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, probably. And there's the exit. Oh, that was simple. But yeah, no, we're going to explore not. everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a 100% LP of these games that you can't really 100% LP. <laughs> um, sorry, you missed, you missed some pickups down there. I think you need to record, mm, record yeah. the video. I have actually tried that for like Keen's 4 to 6 because you can save in levels, so it's actually quite... It, it's, it's a little bit, you know, repetitive not to try and obtain everything, but it is possible. But for these games, I have not even tried. I do not even want to try. I don't think I want to see you try for any of them. No. Just fine, I won't be doing it for when I do Keen 4 to 6. But there will be like a high score that says, oh yeah, you know, uh, you know, I, I did collect all, all of the of items the in this. Also, um... 
Let's uh, keep up the um, children murder tally, shall we? Yeah, just kind of waiting for him. And... Are, are, we, are we meant to be counting? Cause... Don't worry, I'm sure maybe... Uh, I actually think one of them actually despawned because of so many dead bodies on screen at once. <laughs> I think only six can be on, on screen at once. It's nice when system limitations work in your favour. Yeah, it, it lessens... They will always get at you, no matter how hard you try. Except for that one. Yeah, that, that one for what some reason didn't jump. It's very rarely, but I don't want them to go down there because, well, you know... Why is this house full of guns? I don't know. <laughs> but I want them all, and I'm going to pick up the ones apart from the last two because I thought I was really pushing my luck. <laughs> so, please don't jump up and... No, no, no. I, I want to go through this level and not die, please. <laughs> I don't, you don't have to start recording again. Yeah. Because that's the thing, I am definitely uh, going to be a lot more careful in these videos than I am with the, um... With, like, Keen 46, because, you know, I'm going to save. level saves will generally streamline yeah. that process oh, a bit. Oh god, yeah. So, like, these ones I'm just going, oh, please don't kill me, I don't want to die. <laughs> just working in constant prayer. Mm. So, we need, to go and, we need to go down to that thing down there. We're not going to kill it, surprisingly enough. And also, you may have noticed that you just kind of jump through the walls. They, they do that sometimes. <laughs> it's a bit weird. But this is when they say that um, Vorticons don't jump in the dark, which is something that I didn't get around to explaining uh, last video. It's very helpful. Yeah, I can see how adding a bit of predictability into the movements would help. Oh god, yes. Yeah, I, I believe it's in every one of those home levels that you talk to one of those Elder Vorticons. I so they're, like, basically like, they're basically the shrines. They're basically, there's only like two in the game, so... Oh. I'm still sticking with their light, the shrines. Uh-huh. Hmm. You'll notice that the uh, yellow uh, platforms spelled out a rather interesting um, word if you uh, translate it into uh, English. I didn't. No, it's that actually, but I'm t I'll take your word for it. What was it, it was on the screen at the bottom. It's uh, spelled out fuckle. <laughs> it was an intentional misspelling, as, uh, as the creator of Keen actually uh, did say. I don't want to do that, because you can't get back through those, but oh well. But he basically just randomly appeared on the um, one of the, one of the kind of Keen forums and basically said, Oh, hey, nice modding that you're doing. Oh, by the way, yeah, that was an intentional misspelling, by the way. So, you know, just all cool. Uh, like, okay. Sounds good. This is also a really good place to uh, grind up lives, because you get like eight uh, rabbit -y teddy things you can... Teddies, teddies can be things that aren't best. Like, yeah, I mean, just, just they, they actually have the long ears of a Vorticon, so I guess it kind of makes sense. And also, this guy is a motherfucker. <laughs> that, yeah, that's an awkward place, holy shit. Mm. But it's not actually that big a deal, because, you know, you get two... You get uh, two lives every single time you go to the teddies, and you, uh, you might lose one, but yeah, you kind of have to just jump and hope that things work in that aspect because it is really hard to avoid that guy. I hadn't really noticed the friendly fire before, did he? Like, but did, I hadn't really noticed like the friendly fire before. Did he just shoot his buddy? Yeah, yeah, that, that does happen sometimes. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's I pretty know. Even me, but even like friendly fire on their children. Uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of tragic. But at the same time, I suppose it's not technically their children. They're here to be, you know, trained. And if, you know, if they get in the way, then, you know, that's their bloody fault. That sounds like, um... What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, God. Um... Lovely. I have forgotten the word entirely, never mind. It's fine. You, you're only at university. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only studying language, come on. Uh, so, yeah, we got ourselves a little maze. You thought Red Maze City was bad. This just one seems smaller. Yeah, yeah, actually, it is and very... Made of and made out of Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. It, it is very simple. Which is why I totally don't, you know, know where I'm going. <clears throat> oh, blue... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Correct. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of missed the, the days when games could just pad out a level by just shoving four key cards in it and telling you to go wild. Hmm. Also, just either just placing... I mean, what... What is this? I mean, this is apparently Home D. How do people live in, like, Gerda City? I it's mean... just a... it's a very, um, complicated home defense system. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I should never think about it when I say I miss games like that. I have been playing, um, the Duke Nukem 3D, like, remake. 
All right. Master. All right. When, yeah, when, when, when's just... the LP? <laughs> oh god, I'm playing it on video, so I can't record it. <laughs> ah, excuses, excuses. But no, that's occasionally just get completely lost in levels there and kind of. It makes me. It makes me think. You know, maybe yeah. the whole key card wander for a big level with no direction may not have been the best idea. Yeah, re rem remember when you know people like cared about the games they made? Good times, good times. <laughs> and also when they took like a week to make instead of like you know the three-year monstrosity, five hundred billion dollar budgeting things that they are now, whatever. I don't think that's now. I think that was Daikatan. I think he just I think he just tried. Um... Like a ton. Mm. <laughs> uh, also, um, that Elder Vorticon told us that these Vorticon are actually under the control of mine belts. That sounds like a Borderlands boss. Hmm. Please don't kill them. They are not under their own control. Ah, uh, so screw that. Let me just, you know, take that in whilst I step over the corpses of the guys I shot in order to get to you. Hmm. So, what do you say to this horrible implication that, you know, we've been murdering these things, also, with, you know, with no real the corpses? Of our own, I'd, I'd say it's very unfortunate for getting my control, personally. Hmm. I'm, ver I'm very into victim blaming. Indeed. It's, uh, it's something I like, to, it's some, one of my favourite hobbies. So, it's the children's fault that we've been killing them? Yep. They cool. shouldn't have been in the way. I suppose, yeah, they are, they are really fucking annoying, I'm quite glad I'm actually killing them. <laughs> Got to get that out of the way. You, re you remorseless monster. I'm not, I'm not the one that's doing anything. Keen is the one that holds the gun. I just press the fire button. <laughs> he, pull, he pulls the trigger, I just give the orders. Yep. He is merely just the, the pawn. A diabolical game of checkers? Uh, yes, actually. You know, checkers can be very deadly. Especially, like, shot checkers. <laughs> oh man, I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> nah, me neither. So yeah, there's uh, some guys down there. Also, you know, don't rush in too Whoops. quickly, because you'll die a lot in this game. Oh, oh, I'm somehow surviving. There we go. Oh. I always like how when you seem to do the ones that are like really hectic, it just just look like luck and basically just there, yeah, just luck that gets I you just, through it. I just get scared and I start tapping at the keys just randomly, just going, "Oh my god, am I going to die? Please don't let me die. I want to just." Finish this level already, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's all the levels we're going to do in this video. So next time we're going to be heading to the very north of the ship.